Hello out there in gaming world, Frederick Neal, another issue of East Meets West Gaming, and today we're on the Tribble server of Star Trek Online, and we will be touring the new Earth Space Dock that will be coming out here with Season 9, and I gotta say, uh, having looked through it at least once myself, that, um, you know, despite some of the gripes I might sometimes have with Cryptic and Company, uh, they have really outdone themselves with this, so let's jump on in and take a look. All right, here we are inside the new Earth space dock at the transporter room. Now, just like with the previous Earth space dock, when you dock, you'll jump into the transporter room. But as you can see, uh, even just looking out from here from the transporter room, it's a much more wide open. It doesn't kind of feel as claustrophobic uh, as the previous um, Earth space dock. And I gotta be, I gotta be fair. Um, even though I kind of, uh, I don't know, I didn't really have anything against the original one. But it did feel kind of weird. And as much as I have my gripes against the cathedral-sized corridors that seems to plague the, the ship interiors, uh, I'll tell you what, they've done a really good job with Earth Space Dock. Space Dock seems to be one of those places where it deserves the cathedral-sized corridor treatment, that it really needs to be that big. So we're going to step off the transporter pad and come on out here into kind of the main foyer, as it were. And immediately, you can just see that they've really pulled it back. They've made it so much bigger. Um, actually, I think overall size-wise, it's not that much bigger than the original or space but it just feels larger. It feels so much more wide open. Um, and I'll tell you what, just the, the artistic design is really something. Um, I love how everything, the labeling that they've got, you know, essentially in that... Uh, the, the, the typical Star Trek fine, you know, the, uh, it's clearly, you know, you know exactly where you got to go, you know, there's the exchange, there's requisitions, there's the infirmary, you're tipped off the transport, right? Um, I found one of the biggest problems when I first showed up at Earth Space Dock, gee, thanks, you know, no excuse me, no nothing, thanks. Um, the last time I was in a Earth Space Dock, the first time I first showed up in Earth Space Dock, I found myself pressing the map button way much more than I thought I should, quite frankly. Um, and actually, speaking of map, I'm going to just kind of give you an idea of the overall layout here. So you can see, you know, it, it's about the same overall size, but it's a lot more, it's, it's a lot more opened up. Um, and they're still working, I think, on clustering certain items together and figuring out exactly where they want certain items. Um, but generally, the layout uh, goes as follows. They're putting all of the ship items here, just like before, However, you don't have to run over to the engineering section, catch a transporter, down, excuse me, the uh, uh, turbo lift down a level, and then deal with them, and then run. If you want to do the exchange, you have to run back out of it. So you don't have to change instances, which is great. No loading, which is another nice touch. Over here, they seem to be moving a lot of your, your fleet management and character management um, uh, options. So here, you know, you've got a security officer, fleet ambassador for creating your fleets. Um, and then they're putting together over here a lot of your duty officer, excuse me, your bridge officer um, trainers and skill uh, respects. So everything skill related is being put over here. So bridge officer trainer, do you want to acquire new bridge officers, respecting yourself, um, all that good stuff. And then they've moved Ad the Admiral's office into here. So there's Admiral Quinn. And then the ambassador is over here for your uh, diplomatic DOF missions. So they, they've definitely clustered items a little bit closer. It makes a little bit more sense. It's easier to go from section to section. You don't have to run um, to a central corridor, essentially a central corridor to handle your respec, and then run back out over to medical to handle your, your bridge officer retraining. It's all now in the same spot. So some pretty intelligent design there. All of the stores are now together. All the requisition shops are all in one spot. Uh, this was definitely the case before. But it just, it, the original one did not feel like a requisitions bay. It felt like you just walked into a cargo bay. The tailor just happened to be sitting in some corner. The, the weapons requisitions was in one guy. The commodities was another. It, was just, it didn't feel, I don't know, it just felt like a bunch of people had decided to just get together inside a hangar bay and, I don't know, just start selling stuff. Here, now it looks like there's, it's an actual requisitions area. It's a, almost like a mall, to be honest, uh, a very pretty mall. Um, they've got the shuttle bay over here, and we'll talk about that as soon as we get over there, but that's kind of cool. Um, and there is also a level below, 
and a level above. Now, the level below is just like it was in the original Earth Space Dock. It's um, essentially an underground, or well, why not underground, but essentially it's just another series of quarters. There's nothing down there. Um, but they've added it there, so I guess there's, there's definite potential for um, added content below as they see fit. So, let's, uh, before we head over to, this, to the ship area, we'll head on over to Admiral Quinn's office. I really love this 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 logo with the waterfall behind it. I, I mean, yeah, it's kind of got. I mean, what what's the point of it on a space station? But I'll tell you what, it really does look cool. Um, and I'll tell you, what, I really hope that you know, cross fingers here that they allow us to do something like this inside of the fleet space stations because that would be awesome. All right, so let's come around the corner here. And instantly, you, you don't also feel that sense of claustrophobia from the previous space dock. I mean, look, you're now you've got these wide open windows here. Uh, you can see some, you know, little worker bees. You can see the uh, the dry docks. You know, you got an ambassador class ship. And actually, if you stick around long enough, um, sooner or later, you get a um, you know, like an Odyssey class will come past the window or something like that. And that that's all pretty darn cool. Uh, Admiral's Quinn's office is pretty pretty chic. You know, he's got a lot of, uh, you know, look at this, he's got this nice pretty desk, you know, he's, he's got his nice big hollow, I don't know what the heck, he's got a map of, what is this, Sirius Sector? Yeah, so I guess he's he's monitoring the war with the Klingons. The Admiral, excuse me, the Ambassador's right over here. Some of the, the fairy diplomats, that's cool. The gold ship collection, you know, latinum, the lat, gold plated latinum ship collection. You know, gotta love me and my Prometheus. And the galaxy, gotta give the galaxy some props. So that's pretty cool. Um, let's see. Now, the uh, training guys are down here, so we'll, we'll walk out over here first. And you can see, uh, you know, here's Commander Burgess. Uh, he was the guy who used to hand out missions. And uh, here's Captain Sulu, he's also over down here as well. I uh, got this neat little kind of hollow uh, showing this, this traffic in and around the space dock. It's cool. What's also pretty neat is they've done something that you vault that you see on the interior of the um, the Tholian Recluse or any of the Tholian ships. If you're inside one of the Tholian bridges, if you walk up to one of these panels right here, there you go. You've got your own little hollow hollow L cars, which of course you know you can't manipulate in any way, but it's a nice little graphical touch. You've got the security officer uh, right over here, and then right over here you've got the fleet ambassador. What's also cool is how the characters will now actually react to your presence. Uh, they'll turn towards you. They'll actually um, react to you. They're not just sitting there, standing there, spouting out information, which is also kind of cool. It's a nice little touch. Um, in here, you've got, as I said before, you've got your bridge officer trainer, your bridge officer acquisitions, and then your respect guy. So if you need to respect yourself, which is great when you're trying to sync skills across not just your character, which is great, but also your bridge officer, so you get that nice cohesiveness, and you don't feel like you have to run all over the darn station to uh, to take care of those uh, those issues. So as we walk under here, and they've just got another little generic conference room over here, which would be cool for those of you who like role playing. You know, you can kind of meet here and uh, you know, have your meetings here. It'd be kind of cool. Ah, there goes the Odyssey. Oh, and a uh, Vulcan science vessel. Oh, you get one of those too. I didn't. I've never seen that. So let me come on down here. Let me take a look at this. It's pretty cool. You know, say what you will. I actually kind of like the Odyssey. Um, some people don't like the split neck, but I think it's a pretty cool looking ship. I love the Odyssey bridge. Uh, I, it's one of the only ones I, I think that justifies being that big. The Vulcan science vessel looks pretty good looking. And as let's see, we saw the ambassador. And it looks like we also got an Akira in Dry Dock over here. I kind of wonder if they're going to... Uh, they've already changed, and we'll, we'll actually undock here so you can take a look. But uh, I wonder if they're changing... Uh, they're going to plan on changing all of the uh, the Dry Docks that are nearby, or Space Dock. I know there's a set of them near right now, and a lot of people like to park their ships in there and take screenshots for, like, forum saves and stuff. I wonder if they're going to redesign those two as well. So that takes care of kind of Admiral Quinn's area. Another item of interest is they're now putting mail and bank, that's over there, that's bank, 
they're putting mail and bank terminals now all over the station. They're now not in just the uh, near the exchange area. You can essentially access them from all over, which is a nice touch. So we'll come on back out here into the, the main area. Head on down to ship acquisitions. So you see they put all the ship items, your engineer, your repair guy, all of it, um, all in one area. And it's it's they're all close together. This might create a bit of a traffic problem, but I mean, they're not having any of those issues now with the current airspace stock, so I don't foresee them uh, becoming an issue anytime soon now. So I, th I think it'll be pretty good. I'm, I'm, I'm feeling pretty confident that this is gonna work out pretty well. So I like, you know, they've got the, the various ships on the NEL cars back here, kind of flipping through the various types that are available. Uh, nothing's going to change in terms of the actual interfaces. So, like, when you actually go to customize your ship, it's exactly the same options as before. Uh, notice they have not changed the background here. It's the same as that's available on the original airspace dock. Uh, same thing with Starship requisitions. And yeah, you can go to doing your Starship selection. Same interface as before, no changes. Um, but it's still, it, it, I like the new layout. I really do. I like the way they've got this all figured out now. It, it's so much better. It's really frustrating, quite frankly, with the current Earth space dock to just go to the station, have to go down a level, come back up a level for everything else. It's just, it felt very, and in fact, that you have to do an instance change. That's just, that blows, that just always bothered me. So no such problems now. As we go around here, they've got a neat little, uh, you know, essentially an obser observation bay here. You look out over the interior of Space Dock, which you could only do from the engineering, um, essentially from the Starship acquisition section before, uh, but now it's so much more open. And, you, and it is kind of a subtle, no, well, a little less than subtle, to be fair, uh, Zen Store advertisement. Um, you know, these, these are, granted, you've got an Akira and a Prometheus, but these are probably the... Uh, these could be used for the Zen Store versions. And I just did a flip there for some reason. Um, like the multi-vector assault mode ship. You know, here you see the the uh, Renown. I think it's the Renown. Um, a region, excuse me, region, region class. The upgraded Sovereign that's that's available um, from the Zen Store with the wide angle quantum torpedo launcher. You've got the Sao Paulo, the upgraded Defiant class, the Vesta, pretty much. Well. I don't know now with the with the science destroyers. You know, I'm not a science captain. I still think this is probably the best science ship in the game, but uh, some people will disagree on that. Um, the Rhode Island class. Uh, they do have this lone Miranda ship class sitting out there. That would be interesting. What if they had like a fleet Miranda? Uh, the Avenger, and then the uh, it's well, you know, it looks like a modified version of the Intrepid. Like they've taken the the uh, Z-Store version of it, but they've mixed and matched p bits and pieces of it. Which actually is kind of cool, because that kind of gives a little bit of a tribute to all the players. Now, granted, not meant to be a tribute, but it kind of shows out there that, hey, you know, you don't have to have your ship look like a cannon ship, and you can you can still look good and still be part of the Star Trek universe. And, you know, here they have their own place here in Space Dock, which is, I don't know, it's pretty cool. Uh, you know, you got the Yellowstones running around. I'll be honest, I do not like the Yellowstone design. I prefer the original... Um, the original Danube class runabouts, but you know it adds it adds a nice level of activity. Um, I think the only thing that would be, make it even cooler is if you had like the space dock doors opening and closing and ships coming and going. That would probably be the only thing that they could add to it. But the fact that they got little worker bees and runabouts running around on the inside here, you know, got the blinking lights and there's, it just seems to be a lot more alive than the previous uh, iteration of space dock. All right, now we're going to head on over to requisitions and exchange. Actually, let let me do. Let me we'll, we'll work our wells our ways left to right here. So let's run on over to the infirmary, and then the essentially the replacement for Club Forty Seven. So we'll, let's head on head over here. So here we are in the infirmary, which is actually pretty cool looking. I'm not going to lie. I don't see why I'd ever come here. Um, it's a, maybe to treat injuries, but I, I got regenerators and stuff for that. But um, it is pretty cool. Uh, it, it's got a bit of the, you know, it's got the Voyager feel, the, the, the essentially the surgical bay, um, and I, I think it's pretty cool. Uh, it just it looks good. It feels more like I don't know. It just it feels more like something I'd see in a Star Trek movie, 
or a Star Trek series. It just, I can't put my finger on it. Um, I'm pretty certain most of you can do better than me on that, but it just, it looks more Star Trek-y, I guess is the best <laughs> description I can give you. It's not very good, but it's, it's something. All right, so, uh, let's see, it was transporter. Okay, so, one thing you're probably noticing, um, right from the get-go, at least as I pan around here, no Club 47. Let me be honest, I kind of liked the Club 47. It, you know, it's silly, it's a place where Q shows up and no one ever wants to go there, but it's a good place to hang out, um, you know, get your Q rep, and I don't know, it, I like logging off sometimes in Club 47 if I'm feeling in a role play mood, you know, my captain finally gets to sit down and have a long drink after a hard day of, you know, fighting the board. Uh, so now they've essentially replaced it with what these this lounge area that's going to be above here. Like I said, here's another uh, bank uh, console and a mail console. So they're just they're everywhere. Great, I love that. So we'll head up the like I said, we'll head up the, the ramp here. And here we are at this essentially the lounge. This is replacing Club Forty Seven. Early. At least this is what it looks like they're planning on using to replace Club 47. I, I foresee this being the new Q area. I can foresee them putting Q like over here with these little these two big dudes, and that'll be the spot you come for your reputation events. Pretty certain that's how that's going to play out. Um, I don't know. It's a little less lively than Club 47, but you know, hey, no one was really hanging out there to begin with outside of the the Q events, and then going in there and using party poppers and the disco ball to just mess around with everybody inside there. So, it, I don't know, it feels a little more austere. But at the same time, there may have been, I don't know, maybe Club 47 did feel a little out of place. It's like, you know, hey, this is Earth Space Dock. This is the central walls, you know, orbiting Starfleet operations. Why is there this, you know, nightclub kind of thing going on there? But I don't know. I kind of liked it. But here we are. This is the less flashy replacement for Club 47. So we'll come back down here to the transport. That's the other neat thing. You can just, I mean, come on, look at this. Look at this. This is awesome. This, you know, floor, this floor to roof length mirror, uh, window with you know, Earth Space Dock written on the side of it. It's, it's, I don't know. It's just, the design is so much better. It looks so much better. So we'll run across the, uh, across the way here. I'll head on into requisitions. And you immediately see, you know, it, it's got this kind of like, I don't know, shopping mall feel to it. But I don't know, it's a very pretty shopping mall. Here we got the tailor right over here. We got the tailor on, on your left as soon as you come in. They're calling it uniform supply. Uh, over here, you've got the personal equipment requisition and commodity traders. So all clearly marked, easy to find. And I got a, I like the aesthetic, you know, like I said, shopping mall feel, but that's a very nice shopping mall. Okay, so head on into uniform supply. Now they're doing something with uniform supply I'm kind of liking. So you've got the tailor, that's there's no change there, but you're in you're automatically here, change your uniform. Now, granted, you can already do that with change outfit, but here they now give you the option, click it, boom, you're immediately in the editor. Um, so you, granted, this is a you know an outfit swap, uh, but you can already modify it. It's the character modifier. Which is awesome. You don't have to. You don't have to run over and select him. Fight with a crowd of people that are all trying to talk to and to customize your guy. You can still do that. You can still do the customize your clothing if you want. Um, but the fact is, you're immediately in here. You can automatically press that. Boom. Change your uniform. So it makes it a lot easier. It's a lot more convenient. Um, and actually, you know, I find myself coming to the tailor probably a lot more often. I hope. I hope and pray that they do something like this for Deep Space Nine. So just head through this little, look at that, the water, the freaking waterfall comes across the glass. I mean, how awesome is that? I would, you know, I would love to come visit this place in real life if it ever existed, it would be awesome. Okay, so now we've got requisitions, so you got your dilithium and your EC. Now, I get these being in the tailor, I don't get what they're doing here. And maybe as, maybe, you know, I'll bet you, these might become like advertisements for various armor sets or kit sets as they become available. That might be the case. I know with the revamp coming up for kits and how you can customize them, this might be the where they'll use to advertise that. Right now, they just seem to be using the, the original series uniforms as kind of a generic uh, placeholder. But, you know, maybe we'll see more out of that. Walk on out of requisitions here. And into commodities. 
and use commodities exchange. Yeah, actually, it's not the exchange, but essentially it's commodities. It's pretty cool. And you can see out in the shuttle bay. So we'll head on over to the shuttle bay. More bank and mail terminals. Great. Okay, so the shuttle bay, um, granted it's more visual, but you can just take a shuttle to Starfleet Academy, which is kind of cool. You sit there and just press that, and boom, you'll go down to Starfleet Academy. Um, granted, it's not a huge change from the transporter, um, but hey, if, you want, if you're role-playing and you want to do something like that. Little worker bees, and uh, I think these are Type 8 or Type 10. Um, type 10, actually. Type 10 shuttles, maybe. If I forget, Type 8 or Type 10. Somebody will correct me on that. Thank you. Um, we'll kind of zip past here, coming in and out of the shuttle bay. Yep, here comes the Yellowstone room up. Where is the shuttle? Got some worker bees. So, all right, well, oh, there it goes. A little shuttle. Okay, so, I don't know, it's kind of cool. It, you know, it just feels right that it's supposed to be this big. Yeah. No, that's a little too much, maybe, but I don't know. For some reason, there is a Voth medic just sitting here. I have no idea what he's doing here. But, I don't know. Possible future mission place? I don't know. Something involving the Dyson Sphere? This is cool. Look at this. Built and in, laid into the floor. Let's see, what does this say? Ad Astra, so from space. Audactir Pianus. In os fidelum. In alis fidelum. Okay, so fidelity. You know, I haven't taken Latin in years, so I'm going to have to look that one up. But I got to admit, that is a pretty cool, slick logo right there. I think it's like, cur you know, Courage in the Stars, Always Faithful, or something like that. It's Semper Fidelis, of course, it's called Fine Courage, or Fidelity. So, this is the new exchange. Actually, I forgot to, apologies here. So, see, exchange. So, open door. I have no idea what that is. I'm going to check that out in a little second. I have no idea what that was about. That has got me very curious, so we'll, we'll explore that together. Okay, so, this is the exchange. Um, you can notice there's a million more consoles than there are available right now, so you won't have, I mean, probably everybody will bunch up against the door here, but now you don't have to, there's a good possibility you'll be able to get to the console without fighting a million other people and accidentally selecting their character or something like that in the process. I don't know, it just feels, it definitely feels a lot better there. And another view of the shuttle bay. So let's run on back over it. So if that's a mission thing, I'm going to totally... I'm totally going to rock out my armor here. Well, I can't. That's weird. Well, don't know why it's invisible now, but whatever. Let's see if I change my armor and I change it. Nope. Doesn't seem to change it. Okay. Let's find out what this open door is. What does this do? I have no idea what I'm getting into, folks. I may be totally transporting myself to the Dyson Sphere and not even knowing it. And for some reason, I am on a loading screen. Well, of course I'm on a loading screen, but it's taken forever. And it might crash out on me, you know, but with my luck, this could very well be the case. It's a thinking. It's still thinking. Wow. This is taking a lot. This is taking a lot longer than I thought of it, folks. I apologize. It's like, uh. But that might be something to do with that Voth, uh, Voth medic that was sitting there. Um, I don't know. This is pretty. I'm, I'm very intrigued. It's like I, I. It's very. It's not very well marked. It just something says open door. So. I don't know what I'm walking into here. There is, um, as you're already aware, um, or most of you are probably already aware, uh, Season 9 will bring with it a uh, change to the Dyson Sphere. Uh, that's a good shot. 
I gotta give some credit to that guy. That's a really good shot. Oh, okay. It does automatically transport you to the Dyson zone. Okay. Well, there you have it, folks. It's automatically to the Dyson zone. That's actually kind of cool. I'm not gonna lie. That that's pretty cool. That it gives us that capability. Alright, well, I don't want to be here, so let me beam back up and I can automatically transport back to our space dock here. So there you have it, folks. That's uh, the, the Voth Medic will take you to the Dyson Sphere Battle Zone. Which is that's that's pretty slick. I'm not gonna get I'm not gonna lie, that's actually pretty cool. Uh, because right now I have to outside of transwarp and get to the battle zone and then jump right now I can just drop right into the command center. That's pretty good. So if you're trying to organize an event uh, with your fleet or with your friends, um, that's actually a great way. Because some people are sitting there, you know, hey, I'm on Earth Space Dock, messing around in the exchange, and I gotta undock or transport up to my ship to get to then use transwarp to get over to the Dyson Sphere. To it's, it's just it's a lot of things. So now it's uh, pretty cool. They're gonna offer the uh, the immediate transport to the Dyson Sphere through the, the Voth Medic. I'm assuming it's going to be some guy symbolizing um, he's a Voth. Um, uh, essentially, he's a sympathizer who's escaped. All right, so now let's, uh, let's transport to our space dock. Okay, transwarp over. Not long, and we'll be, we'll be back there. All right, here we go. So... We'll use, take this opportunity to actually show you the kind of the differences. Um, you'll notice Space Dock looks a hell of a lot better. It really does. It looks really good. Um, we'll zoom on over. The moon is now behind us. It's not on the other side of the planet now. There's the, such as the captain's table, the area where all the vet players can go. The distances seem a lot more real now. Um, you know, in the previous version, the moon was essentially almost right on top of you. Now it's it seems like it's a realistic distance away. So we'll head on over here. I'm looking at space dock around. I love the lighting effects. The, they seem to have added new textures to it. I don't know, it just looks cool. Little worker bees are now working on it. We got a lot more alive. Alright, so here we are. That's a guy in the upgraded sovereign, the food sovereign. Okay, so yes, to answer my own question then, they are going to change the dry docks around Earth Space Dock. So, if you are a fan of the original design and you want to get your screenshots in, you may want to do that before... Let's see, how well can I drive this thing? Can I do it? Can I get in there? Uh, oh man, I'm crashing into everything in this thing. Well, I gotta admit, the... The, the new ones aren't as cool, in my opinion. I, 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 they look a little slicker, but uh, I'm not digging it. I'm not digging that. That's, that's not cool. I, I prefer the old ones. So, all right, there you have it, folks. If you're going to get your screenshots with the, with the newer space dock, or rather with the old one, uh, you better do it now before they implement the new one. Because uh, right, we'll get on in here. We'll dock. We'll finish off our tour of the inside. Probably driving these guys crazy with the way I'm maneuvering. Yeah. One quarter impulse. You know, F thrusters. Unfortunately, they're forcing me to do thrusters. Okay. So yeah, unfortunately uh, they're, they're doing away with the old uh, dry docks, so you may want to so get your screenshots there. Alright, so I'm back into so we've already, um, let me turn off my Dyson rifle, because I thought I was going into some sort of like cool little instance or something. Um, you definitely are going to, um, I don't know, you're just, you're going to like it. I think you're definitely going to like the new space dock. Everybody, I think, is going to like the new space dock. Um, it's one of those, it's one of those changes where people aren't suddenly running, ranting and raving on the forums. I guess if anything there's the rant and rave about is the, uh, the change to the dry docks, but that seems pretty, and the loss of Club 47, which seems pretty minor. Oh, okay, so if you may remember that Captain Yim, the guy that you could talk to in Club 47, he's now over here, uh, overlooking uh, the interior of the space dock, so that's kind of cool. 
So we're going to go up the elevator um, to deck 47 up the walkway. Now, you saw that deck 89 blue thing or the, below that. That's that's the underground or uh, below decks uh, concourse. There's nothing there. But here you're essentially on an upper level, uh, essentially a balcony and observatory, which is kind of cool. So you get a little bit better view of the interior. And from this side, you can also see the, the, the outside. So you get a sense of that we're on both sides of space dock here. So you can see the earth side and then the interior, which is pretty nice. I don't like it. It's pretty cool. So we'll head on over here. There's an instant security officer over here. So. An engineer slacking, not working. I see how it is. So another cool place to maybe do some uh, role playing. If you're a fan of that. All right, we'll head on back down to the main concourse. Here we are. All right, so that's about it, folks. There's really not much else up to show. I uh, hope you've enjoyed the tour. Uh, if you're interested in checking it out yourself, uh, make sure you uh, sign on to the Tribble uh, server with your character, and uh, it's it's open for business. Uh, please do be aware, though they, they fixed it in several patches, there are a few moments, and it didn't happen to us on this tour, but there are a few uh, spots uh, where you can actually fall through the floor. <laughs> Um, you'll fall through the floor and you'll end up actually out there on the interior of space dock um, without a spacesuit, which is funny. You're in a zero-g, zero-oxygen environment and you can run around freely. So, yeah, it's a glitch. But um, if you do see it, please make sure you let the devs know. Uh, they've been pretty responsive, actually, for fixing bugs on this because uh, I fell through the floor a few times, uh, made a note of it, and granted, I don't think they didn't respond to me, but... The next time I came through here, I didn't fall through the floor in the same spot I went through. So, looking pretty good. So, overall, hope you've enjoyed the tour. If you uh, like what you see, uh, be sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel. Plan to do a lot more uh, Star Trek Online content along with other gaming. Uh, and also, uh, if you're not already aware, I'm for deployed uh, to Yokosuka, Japan. So, I'm also doing some series of videos uh, detailing Japanese culture and life uh, living abroad. You know, Check those out if you're interested in that as well. And uh, as I said, I hope you've uh, enjoyed the ride. Thanks for coming out. This is Commander McNeil signing off.